All right, so I got it apart here, and you guys can see what I mean. Again, I do not know all the technical terms, especially for the 1911 series. But it does not use the full system for that. It uses the more compact uh, half version. Now, the only reason I'm mentioning this is because some people will claim there's better accuracy, better reliability, blah, 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 blah. I personally have not really noticed that. And overall, again, it's been very, very very good. I'll get to its downfalls a little bit later. But that as alone is good. Now besides that, uh, everything else in the lower, as you know, is the safety. Everything works fine. Uh, the rear safety, the sears. Uh, actually one thing I guess I will say is, I will notice in the action, the, the rear sear and whatnot, it seems to catch just a little bit. I'm talking just a ridiculously small amount, uh, where just if you pull back the slide really slow, you'll kind of know that know what I'm talking about. But I think that's kind of still common in 1911s a little bit. Uh, not really a big deal. Eventually, I might swap out the sear, but it's kind of iffy if I ever do it. So we'll see. Uh, but besides that, even things like uh, magazines. Obviously, the magazine that it came with functions fine. It comes right out. And underneath here, I actually have uh, some other ones. Uh, these are like the K magazines. They are very, 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 well, they're $5. <laughs> you kind of figure it out yourself. They actually function fine, but they're not machined the best. Those fall out decent enough. So, and then we got a Chip McCormick. Those just slide right out. But you know, so obviously, the Magwell is done proper, which I guess is not very common in your super cheapo 1911s, apparently. They like to stick more. Uh, so besides that, the lower receiver is great. Now on the upper, uh, again, nothing really terrible except the whole pulling back the slide. Again, I would think that to be more or less normal on something that's nickel plated. Uh, I will say the only disadvantage I had about this, and this is probably the ammo, not the gun by any means. But after I shot the first 150 times, I cleaned it. Then, that's where the other part of the test came in. How much can this take with me abusing it? And what it pretty much led to was, I shot that first 150, cleaned it, and then, I want to say, but within about a two month span, I shot 150, you know, a couple of th weeks plus later, shot another 150, a couple weeks later, shot another 150, and then, eventually, I shot another 100 or so, and then uh, I actually kind of felt like an idiot because again this thing is working like a champ you know and again this is uh, your cheapo Tula ammo but this thing was working like a champ and then uh, my friend ended up wanting to shoot it and he's interesting in 1911s and we actually had a problem where it wasn't feeding pro well I guess I shouldn't really say it wasn't feeding properly but it appeared not to be and what was happening uh, again couldn't really figure it out right there at the range you know because it was just kind of doing whatever but uh, I ended up taking a look at it when we got home, and kind of a crazy situation, but again, probably being the issue of them. If you uh, push down on this, and if you have something better than this, some sort of needle or something, you'll notice that's obviously the firing pin in the spring. This plate would slide down some because the firing pin with the spring was sticking some because of all the gunk in there, and the plate was falling down just a little bit so it was catching on the slide and then it just wasn't coming back all the way so it looked as if it was misfeeding and whatnot and that wasn't the issue at all so again that was not really so much an issue with the gun it was more just the ammo clogging it up again Tula very uh, dirty dirty ammo uh, so actually it's so dirty that the compensator if I can get the right lighting you'll see the stuff that's built up in there and I cannot get it apparently right now. You, know, you can kind of see it there. The middle one's kind of obvious, but... So, that worked pretty well. Well, let's put this guy back together and I'll finish this review.